Hi dear diaper wearers. In today's video I test the Supreme Briefs from North Shore. The diaper manufacturer is best known for the Megamax, which I also already had in the test, who is interested in it, can find my video about it above. It stands out with its own design, which you don't see too often. The North Shore diapers are often colored, but either not printed at all or only very discreetly. Colorful motifs as they are common in other ABDL diapers, there are none at all so far. In the case of the Supreme Briefs, they are white dots, which are also not very contrasting, so they do not stand out excessively. One of the hallmarks of the North Shore is that you can choose between different colors. I chose green here because I haven't had a green diaper on test before and wanted to try it out to see what it looked like. In addition, there are blue, purple and white. According to the picture, there are no dots printed on the white one. With the Mega Max, in addition to the simple colors, you can select tie-dye, which are colorful patterns. If you would like to see this in more detail, take a look at my practical test videos for the Mega Max. However, there is no colorful version of the Supreme Briefs. The absorbency is listed at 4000 milliliters, and size S is said to fit a circumference of 70 to 110 centimeters, which is a relatively wide range. It doesn't matter which color you choose, the diaper is always the same, only the color of the film outside differs. Since Supreme Briefs uses disposable adhesives, it is completely made of foil on the outside. You can theoretically stick the glue anywhere, as there is no separate glue area at the front, as is the case with all reusable glue types. However, it is noticeable that the adhesive strips are a bit narrower than you know it from comparable diapers like Crinkles or Better Dry. The sticking I find a little more difficult, they have held in most cases anyway. Occasionally it was a little worse, especially when they were placed a little far down. I didn't have that with the wider adhesives of the other diapers, although it didn't happen every time. There are no differences inside. The leakage protection is about the same height, but it sometimes sticks a bit due to the tight pressing into the package. This can lead to leakage in the worst case, so I would run my finger along both sides once before putting it on and make sure it is loose and set up. Even when you take it out, you notice how hard and stiff the diaper is, it was pressed pretty hard into the package. This was also a point of criticism for me with the crinkles, but I find it even more extreme with the Supreme Briefs. Even after folding and kneading, it remains quite hard and does not conform to the body as well as other diapers. After the first wetting it improves. Since a few videos, I additionally weigh the empty diapers to better show you if you can expect a thinner or thicker one. The Supreme Briefs weighs 204 grams and is thus of the so far weight in the lower midfield. But how does the suction performance look in everyday use? For this I made in the diaper and sat down after each time until it leaks. In doing so, I didn't notice any weaknesses, she sucked up well in the front, from the second time it ran increasingly into the crotch and then the buttocks also got wet. When the first drops ran out of the diaper into the pants that I had worn over it, the diaper weighed a maximum of just under 1.6 kilograms. In everyday life, of course, it is somewhat less, I would change so at 1.4 to a maximum of 1.5 kilograms, because you want in everyday life rather no leakage. That's about in the range I would expect for a laboratory value of 4 liters because unlike my tests, these values are not measured in everyday life, but in the laboratory, without a person wearing the diaper and paying attention to whether the clothes get wet due to leakage. You can most likely compare them to the crinkles, or better dry if you prefer a white diaper without imprints. Both advertise 5 liters in the lab test and manage in practice about similar to the North Shore Supreme Briefs. I think both crinkles and better dry are better, though, for two reasons, they are more comfortable. Although all three are film diapers, crinkles and better dry feel softer, even before the first wetting. Supreme briefs, on the other hand, tend to be harder, reminiscent of thicker medical diapers. The second reason is the adhesives. I find the wider adhesives of, say, the crinkles better, especially when you put the diaper on tighter. With the supreme briefs, you then feel a bit constricted, which I find more uncomfortable. And especially with disposables, I'd rather have them tighter, since you can't re-stick them as often as you want. If we look at the price, a pack of North Shore Supreme Briefs is currently 22.90 euros for 15 diapers, so about 1.53 euros each. The crinkles cost minimally less in the same store at 22 euros and 60 cents. Two varieties are even available in other stores for only 19 euros and 50 cents per pack, which makes 1 euro and 30 cents each. For me, therefore, the question is, what added value do the Supreme Briefs offer? What gap are they supposed to fill? The goal is obviously a low price, since they are significantly less quality equipped and absorbent, like the Mega Max. Plus the disposable adhesives, which are even smaller than other diapers. I've only seen that from significantly thinner ones, like the Better Dry Day, 
there, because of the comparatively low absorbency capacity, they probably decided that thinner adhesives would also do. If you want a more discreet diaper, reach for the better dry and save in any case, because it costs only 1.33 euros per diaper in the same store. If you want colorful diapers, then the Crinkles offers more visually and at least at the same price, sometimes even cheaper. In addition, both diapers are more comfortable and have full width adhesive. For me, the Supreme Briefs looks like a slimmed-down copy of Crinkles and Better Dry respectively, whose only advantage is that it comes completely colored in four colors without imprints. This is only available here, for everyone else there are better alternatives in my eyes. I am disappointed by the Supreme Briefs, and that, although or just because I am a big fan of the Mega Max from the same manufacturer, the Mega Max is comfortable and convinced me with high suction power at a relatively acceptable price. With the Supreme Briefs I see, apart from the colors, no real added value. With a significantly lower price, it could be an alternative to the crinkles, then the disadvantages would also be more acceptable. For a long time, therefore, for the first time for me no purchase recommendation for this diaper. What do you think? Feel free to write it in the comments and subscribe to my channel to not miss any new diaper tests. The subscription is free. Take care, until the next diaper test.